Welcome to Allen Fieldhouse for over a half century, the home of the Jayhawks, and today they meet Boston College. Good afternoon, everyone. Don Quickie with Bill Rapp for you. A very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays to you and all of yours. Uh, both these teams were highly regarded in the preseason, well-ranked, stumbled a couple of times early, but now, Billy, they're making a move up. Well, they're finding themselves, and when you think of it, come March, they'll be worried about this as a seeding game. Well, when you look at these two clubs, they both have a lot of talent. Uh, Boston College is led by an All-American talent in uh, Jared Dudley, their go-to guy in the flex offense. Uh, Jared Dudley, a guy that can score and rebound passes, just a terrific player. Well, Don, he knows how to play. He's got great instincts, reads defenses beautifully. He's a great offensive rebounder. He'll step out and bite you with deep shots. Really understands what to do. He's got a lot of fire and juice, and he can perform. And then counter that with Sean Williams. Down on the box, a guy that blocks shots with his left hand when needed. Starts their transition game in case they'll bite you. But when he needs the right hand slam, he gets that as well. He's a guy that performs defensively and makes them go. And the Jayhawks also have an All-American candidate in Brandon Rush, a scorer, rebounder, passer, complete player. He can put it on the deck and get to the rim, which is really important for this basketball team. Breaks defenses down. He understands how to help them on the glass as well. It's up over five rebounds a game. Solid performer, but he can step out. The little on as well. And now, Bill, let's take a look at the singular keys to the game. Well, when you think of BC, you must get back and balance the floor. KU likes to run. Run your flex to counter it. Get the ball inside early and often. KU, rush. Get him involved. Get the speed game going. Give him the open looks. And since it's Christmas time, Ricky, give it up a little bit. That high-low game can be devastating. A great place to see a basketball game here at Allen Fieldhouse, 17,000 strong. It's the uh, Big 12 versus the ACC today. We'll have the opening tip-off next. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Budweiser. Bright, clean, crisp, pure. This is Budweiser. This is beer. By Applebee's. Neighborhood Grill and Bar. Eating good in the neighborhood. Applebee's. And by Chevrolet. America's brand. Chevy. An American Revolution. And we're back and ready to go. There's Al Skinner, the coach of the Boston College Eagles in his 10th year in his starting lineup. Uh, features Jared Dudley in the uh, Back line, he has Tyrese Rice, a good score, and Sean Marshall, a four-year starter. And up front with Dudley, Sean Williams, the rejector, and Akita McLean. Looking at the Jayhawks of Kansas. Russell Robinson, Mario Chalmers, and Brandon Rush. Three guard offense with Julian Wright and the big former uh, Soviet player, Sasha Khan, up front. And the coach of the Jayhawks in his fourth year at Kansas is Bill Self. Tremendous atmosphere here as we look now at our officials today. Curtis Shaw, Gary Maxwell, and Terry Moore. Their local conference, as you know, Bill Raftree, they uh, work both ACC and Big 12 games, and here comes Kansas coming down early. The ball is taken away underneath, and BC goes on offense the first time. Yeah, BC started, man, man, and so does KU. They'll get the flex, get it inside, Don. That's the key. Williams scoring a lot more this year, and Tyrese Rice launches a long ball that's short of the mark. And the whistle blows, and we have a foul call underneath. Yeah, that's generally what they settle for late in the shot clock. Very sound. Kansas comes in 9-2 and two on the year. And BC is 7-2, and two, and here's a turnover to Brandon Rush. We want him to score more. And he goes baseline. Looked like he stepped down the baseline of the court. Back yep. over to BC. And he had that little carry he got away with, too, with the left hand. And trying to get to the rim. Here he did a little fumble. But terrific yep. with the travel. bounce. Marshall 
guy who can step out and make jump shots. Baseline bump and then a screen down. You'll see that all game long. Flex offense. Uh, Al Skinner wants his guys to pass the ball rather than dribble it. Very, very patient. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll go late into the shot. And now, uh, AC having a little trouble executing early. And Al Skinner's up. Well, it's interesting. You don't want turnovers ever, but against KU, it's better to throw it out of bounds so your defense is set. They're a terrific transition team. They'll try and push the ball, get involved quickly on the offensive end. And I think we're going to see some zone if the flex is solid. So here comes KU. They have uh, two turnovers so far in their first two possessions. And they have trap right a great pass. So look at this look. There is Brandon Rush. A 13 point a game score. Robinson with a grab in the backcourt. Uh, the ability to get the ball into the lane. And this is a breakdown. Nice cut, sets it up, and then the dump off. And Rush gets those feet set, steps right into it, and knocks it down. A preseason uh, All America, Brandon Rush from Kansas City. No seniors on the Kansas team, so the best is yet to come for these guys. Uh, one preseason call, as you know, Bill, had him as number one. Uh, Bill feels they're getting better, but defensively, he thinks they still have strides to take. Look how close they get the basketball down. That's unbelievable. Oh, the flex offense. They keep packing it in. A lot of cutting, a lot of movement, a lot of passing, not much dribbling. And now the Eagles are off the mark again, and finally... A tip in goes. I think it was McLean there. Even McLean gets it up and down. And a nice body to have back. And unfortunately, John Oates will not play today with a bruised foot. We'll probably have him after Christmas. Oates, a 6'10 junior forward for the Eagles. Troubled by an arch injury. And uh, here is a Kansas now working deliberately. Bill Self talking about how BC Bill is uh, as different than any team they play in the Big 12. Well, they, they really make you uh, defensively. Their combination defense is tough to defend. There's a look at the big fella. He can step out and make threes, and you know, just contributes a little rebound here and there. And pretty good defense. Here is Rice, a good score. He's really defensively, a step here on the drop uh, by Marshall. Out for a travel. And yet another turnover. And the ball comes back inbounds uh, to the Jayhawks of Kansas. Each team with three turnovers in the early going. You notice whose name you haven't mentioned on offense, Dudley. Doesn't yeah. have too many touches. You gotta get him involved. Yeah, they've got people looking Pretty. at him more than one. Here is Khan down there. And that's a terrific look. And then the con job finish. The right does pitch beautifully. Khan's a guy from Russia, never played there much, but uh, came to high school in Melbourne, Florida, was recruited out of the Florida Air Academy. And an outstanding student, all academic, because he stepped through and kiss. That was Dudley going to the basket. And a five-point a push-off called on Boston College. And it might be Dudley as well. Uh, just the read and the duck in, they make their bigs available. When they run their high-low, you'll see a lot of this. They pin their man. and. Come with a nice shot selection. Smooth early. And the foul bill was on Dudley. That's his first. Well, you love that kind of a shot when you trap. That's like a turnover. Now Boston College again having problems connecting with their passes. But it was last touched apparently by a Kansas player, so it's back inbounds. Dudley will end on the ball, talking to Al Skinner. And what he really likes about Dudley, and so does everybody else that scouts him, is he can get a shot up against anybody, but he's had a problem so far early here. Well, the problem is the turnovers. He can't give it up. He's got to get opportunities. But he plays within the game. He has a certain feel of what has to be done. There's the screen down. Look at that open look from McLean. I mean, I was going to say we could make it maybe a few years ago. Quite, quite a few, yes. That's uh, the left-hander, Akita McLean. And he now has uh, four points in the early going. High game at four. The trap, in a sense, is passive. Makes you work on the defensive end. Let's see what they got here. Looks like a little bit of a combo. See, they exchange people on the cutters. 
And I think you've got to beat it with the dribble, get into the gaps and create. Rush, the guy they want to shoot more, rims out. Here comes Dudley with a defensive rebound, leading a controlled break. Nice cut by Marshall. Nice pass. Look at this where they get the ball. Had Dudley just held off. Great delivery by Price. And now Robinson, a speed player, takes it to the other end, 100 miles an hour, goes to the deck hard. Russell Robinson. And there's a timeout on the floor with the score, BC 6 and Kansas 4. Back in a moment. We're back to Allen Fieldhouse. Don Crickey with Bill Raftery. An ACC Big 12 matchup. Boston College with a 6 to 4 lead. These teams have only played once before, and that was 37 years ago in the first round of the NIT. Guys like Dave Robish and uh, JoJo White were playing for Kansas. Jim O'Brien was in the backcourt of a Bob Cousy coach BC team. And he got 24 points. Uh, Terry Driscoll, 21 points. And the athletic director at William & Mary. The Coos. Well, O'Brien couldn't pass that. Look at this breakdown defensively, but William to the Gator. Dudley has it, loses it. And the ball is put up after a steal by Mario Chalmers, who self says has the fastest hands he's ever been around as a coach. A tough backcourt defensively. Robinson good as well. Allen's in the game. Another one of those guys that can really rag you. The hold on the cut by Rush on Dudley. And Shamari Spears in the game for BC. After uh, apparently a turned ankle, took Akita out of the game. Akita McLean came out. He's off the floor right now. Boy, they were really down in the forward position. Kansas a uh, fight for defense. They really extended. Here's Dudley fighting to get a shot. Ball knocked away. And here comes the Jayhawks. Rush. What's the foul? A nice job by Collins too, being patient and finding his partner. And Rushville has now scored four as KU takes the lead. And Williams trying to become more offensive minded, and he is not bad, Don. What a bad look, 18 feet away. Oh, he should have given it to the corner. Rush getting the ball a lot at the offensive end. Rebound to Marshall. Here comes a uh, BC down by two with 14-18 to play in the first half. Arthur is now in also for Kansas. And Arthur, they're worried about foul. Nice split. Look at this rice. I mean, that is just gorgeous. Using that high that side good, well, pick Arthur. and roll, and then just splitting defenders. So the crowd goes quiet now as BC goes to the free throw line, ready to shoot the ball as Tyrese Rice, a sophomore from Richmond, Virginia, very productive player for the Eagles, over 14 points a game, almost five assists. Near the end of today's game, they'll select the Chevrolet player of the game from each team to honor their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. America's brand supports America's best. Chevy and American Revolution. And Don Jackson in the game now. You've got Arthur coming in. They're trying to save him from foul problems. Bring him in usually in the second four-minute period. Uh, they may try and wear BC down, but BC plays slowly. Now, they usually have legs at the end of the game, even though they're undermanned at this stage. Well, one of the things, Bill, that uh, Bill Self said about BC said they play an interesting game. They grind it out. But they play a game where they can win games in the 50s, or if you want, if they get running, they can win games in the 80s. Well, they do run. I mean, they just are smart about it. If they don't have a good shot, they run that intricate offense. Here's the lob. Beautiful set. Unfortunately, not a good toss. And a tied-up ball. 
Possession arrow goes to the Eagles. Okay. They'll pick it in bounds. A lot of set plays off of timeouts. A, a specialty at KU. A uh, little back screen on the baseline here sets it up. Unfortunately, it does not connect. And they're in toss. And here, Bill, now some of that uh, Kansas pressure. So says we don't really prep, we bring pressure. Well, he would like to get back to being a terrific defensive team. Stays at Illinois. Long ball. Brings out off the hand of Tyrese Wright. And you saw Dudley right at the glass, too. They got a little problem on the side. I think Collins may have gotten nicked over there. They're going to stop and check him out. Sharon Collins, a freshman from Chicago's Crane Tech. He was one of the uh, best high school football players also in the Chicago area last year. And out uh, to wide receiver and safety. Didn't some Big Ten teams offer him as well? Yeah, they did. For football? But he's taken out now, powerfully on the guard at 5'11", 205, 205. Robinson comes in from KU. You didn't see much football in your undergraduate days, did you? Occasional game. <laughs> did you have a good seat or were you in the end zone? That's a good part about this. This is a good seat. Nice a long ball by Brandon Lutt. Lutt has seven points. Keep it alive. This crowd can really kick in at Allen Fieldhouse. Nice pass to Marshall. What did they hold up beautifully? Now the Eagles get it down low, and uh, Marshall gets his first two points of the game. Rebound is off the hands of Rush, and will come back inbounds now to Boston College as they trail by a point. A uh, nice handle by Arthur in that play, but uh, the ability to get yourself free, something we alluded to in the open, he understands space, how to get away from people, just a solid performer, and he gets Spears with the backcourt foul. Robinson ragging the defender, or the offensive player. Yeah, Spears gets his first personal foul, pushing off. Now have uh, three team fouls on Boston College, four on Kansas. This is sort of feeling their way, playing the ragged basketball right now. But nice little step up for the open look. Good look. The freshman from Dallas uh, that Bill Self calls the best power forward I've ever recruited. Almost 14 points a game. And he blocks a couple of shots a game. Now Chalmers with a terrific pass, really finds people, side pick and roll. They string it out beautifully. Well, he's Ahawk for hawking the ball, and here comes Chalmers on the drive. He'll shoot two, and we get it to go down, but he will shoot the two free throws with the 12-0-1 to play in the half. Don, it's so important when you're Kansas to get open floor opportunities. And here they just string this one out beautifully. Everybody steps up and rotates. You've got to grab the basketball, hold it, and step through. Somebody has to present themselves, and Marshall trying to get the attention just a tad late. And as uh, Bill Self told us, uh, Chalmers is a guy that uh, is as good an all-around player as we have. Just in time for the holidays, a movie for the whole family. Joe Montagna, Gene Smart, and Charles Durning star in A Very Merry Christmas. Tomorrow, Christmas Eve at 9, 8 Central on CBS. America's number one network. I'll get you my address in case you're thinking of a gift, Don. It's already on the way. Appreciate it. Let nice. You know it doesn't get there. Here is Marshall, and uh, he's looking. He got hit on the air. And now a breakaway. Chalmers beats the Eagles down court. And Mario Chalmers making a difference. And Kansas extends to its biggest lead, 16 to 10. Over 50 years, the home of Kansas basketball, Allen Fieldhouse, and it's been sold out every game. With Phil Raftery, Don Cricky back at Allen Fieldhouse. A lot of defensive pressure as key turnovers and enabled the Jayhawks of Kansas to build a 16 to 10 lead. Well, you need easy baskets, Tom, particularly with the defense that Boston College puts up. It's confusing the combo. They point people across in an exchange. It can be puzzling. So this opens the game up. You get your legs, you start feeling good if you're KU, and they continue the pressure now. Well, the KU defenders have forced seven BC turnovers that's led to 11 mm. Kansas points. Mm. 
Dudley with a good move. Kicks it out, looking for the three. And you can see the reaction by Collins. He's trying to establish Williams on the box. Now, whistle stops play. Foul on the play. We'll be back after this. This, who were beaten early in the year by Oral Roberts and DePaul, have now won eight of their last nine to get to nine and two. This is a team that in one preseason poll was number one and is starting to look like it, Bill Raftery, in this game. And you have Brandon with the two fouls now. The one advantage KU has, they have a number of people who are multi-positional. They can beat you off the dribble. They're comfortable playing smaller. A lot of options. And this guy here, just too good around the basket. It's tough. Great offensive minor at the rim. Nicely done by Dudley. Brady Morningstar is now in the game. A guard for Kansas. His dad played here in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. He played did. before my time. It was a, a number of years before your time. And Look here now is a nice reject by Williams, the big rejector, uh, 38 blocks in seven games prior to this. He's unbelievable. I watched the Providence State. He had 12. And he must have had six or seven hurries. And when you get the jump shot, they alley oop here with a back screen. How about, how about that? Wow, what a, a one two punch. Get your one in, knock out the other. And the Eagles of BC have uh, worked their way back to within two. The biggest lead for Kansas was six. A lot of space if you step up in the lane. In transition points, the Jayhawks have six. Uh, BC so far has none. The ball. Marquez Haynes in the game. And he looks good. He plays with a swagger, too. He's got a little Dudley in him. A little instinct. Puts you down. BC on a 6 0 run to tie the game at 16 all. We're back at the University of Kansas, Bill. Uh, Sean Williams, uh, you know, when you go into the rim area, you expect the big guy, but when you step out, you got a nice open look. Leave me alone. Give me my space. He just attacks. He's got great timing. And here, the little back screen lob, just a solid play. Really compliment, getting him involved a little bit. And as I mentioned earlier, Don, he's just developed a little jump hook around the rim, a little turnaround jump shot. He's got some innate ability. Aaron Dudley is the prime mover for the Boston College Eagles, a senior from San Diego, a four-year starter. Started every game, 110 starts. And as we mentioned, Skinner says he can get a shot against anyone. It's tough today. Kansas with a lot of quickness on defense. And this defense now can confuse you. You know, it ended up with Arthur getting looks out here. They'll give them that. And they back down, exchange people, cause the walk. I mean, it's exasperating. Another fourth turnover up, forced by BC. And here's Tyrese Rice against Robinson, a dangerous defender, Russell Robinson, junior from New York City. He's the New York City Player of the Year, Brother Rice. Well, that was asking her up and excited, by the way. You seldom see that. Yeah, he uh, keeps yeah. it under control very nicely, uh, much like yourself. Uh, very understated. That's a late evening. I know when you two more expressive <laughs> days at the hall. Although the overall department was very good last night. Thank you. Thank you. Eight My family would be happy to hear that. Uh, right now, the shot blocking intimidation factor. And, you know, there's a lot of ways of getting it done. And, you know, some coaches are get up, and they really get it. Al Skinner is subdued in practice. He just raises his voice in a conversational tone, and they respond. He doesn't need a whistle or a shout. Too deep. Look at this, though. You're not going to get an easy one around the rim. He is incredible. He backs off. You've got to go at him. You cannot fade away or throw that hook. You've got to go right into his body. This is his advantage. Look at the space he gives up. <laughs> Who's it remind you of a little bit with space? Boston Celtics, one and only. The Russell. Well, that's a, that's a handsome comparison, but he does have that high touch, and he doesn't slap it out of bounds. He tips it to right. somebody like Russell. There's San Francisco. He came on the scene years ago. Arthur's been quiet, but he keeps working. And they've given it to Julian Wright. Yeah. Right. yeah. Julian Wright, he's a threat to post a triple-double in any game. First two points, Russ leads the Jayhawks with seven. Dudley and McLean each have four for Boston College. No steps here, trying to do too much on the flare screen. By the way, BC's played in some tough environments, playing in the ACC Conference, of course, before that in the Big East. You know, these kids have a lot of pride. They are not intimidated, so you have to run your stuff if you're KU. 
KU, as you know, Bill, would uh, like to go 100 miles an hour up and down the floor. They really, with their athletes, uh, team speed. Austin Collins digs in, though. They're a hard, gritty team. Pull away from him. The long ball as uh, Mario Chalmers takes the way with eight points and a five-point Kansas lead. And look at Dudley here. I mean, he emotes. He was going to go regardless of who's in the way. Gets the call and gets to the foul line. I mean, he has some energy. Terrific. And, uh, one of the things he's got going for him, Bill, is something I think you had going for you in the LaSalle Explorer days. He's never a smarter player on the floor. Well, I wouldn't go. I thought you were going to say speed or elevation. <laughs> Either he's throwing smarts, I'm 0 for 3. Here now come the uh, Jayhawks. Robinson in the backcourt. They set their offense. Nice little thing. Go opposite. The ball moves a lot faster. He's oh. not dribbling it. A lot of quick passing. And Khan working his way. The big guy born in Russia. Gets it up and down. You can see what Bill Self has done. He's gone to the three bigs now to counter the lack of size. And only Williams, a guy that can block the shots. And Khan just cleaning up on the other side. You got Wright and you got Arthur. Look at the white shirts down there dominating it. Sasha, Sasha. <laughs> Able to get up and knock it down. He's 6'11. He's a junior. As mentioned, and no seniors on this Kansas team. And Khan, a 56% free throw shooter, completes a three point play. He also, Bill, has something uh, you like. This is the ability to rebound in the offensive glass is something that certainly helps him. What else do I like? Well, he's got four offensive rebounds. Right. He and works hard, though. He doesn't mind the minutes he gets. Ooh, that looked good in the air, but it comes in a little short. And here come the Hawks on the fly. Robinson with a get back. Nice play. Oh, oh, is he amazing? What a presence. Give it up. Oh, shit. I just make the layup. <laughs> An exciting miss. That doesn't help. Oh, they're getting a little silly now. They really are. The KU counters with a equally difficult play at the other end instead of just scoring. And we have two coaches up letting them know they're getting a little silly. They're going to highlight real plays. Now Dudley does a nice job pinning his guy. Rebound swept down by Julian Wright. 6'8", sophomore from Chicago. Again, you don't need that lob all the time. Did you get every time? That's well said. We don't have a better all-around player. Mario Chalmers, a sophomore from Anchorage, Alaska, leads away with 11 points. This is a trip that BC will take their time unless a real good one shows early. Tom with the foul. And we have a foul call. How about this one, Don, huh? Nothing easy around the rim. And the big fella looming, saying, get it back to Kansas City. <laughs> back to Allen Fieldhouse. Uh, points off turnover is the key number here. Kansas with 14 points off of BC turnovers. Don Cricky with Bill Raftery and his other persona. <laughs> Well, my parents always said, be yourself. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's Bill, who's uh, he's very big. He's as big as you are in Essex Bell, which is a high compliment. He does have it going. The recruiting was going well. You mentioned one magazine, preseason number one. Uh, this open game, even though they have missed, if they settle down, it's going to bode them well coming down the stretch. Okay, you on an 11 to 3 run, Bill, now. And have their biggest lead eight points. As we have big Sean Williams going to the free throw line, a junior from Houston, Texas, a good free throw shooter. 76 percent. He's really improved that this year. He was 51 percent his first two years. So you can see he's developing. How about this? Coming up on the singular at the half, Sam Ryan and Seth Davis will get you up to date on other action going on today. And Sam tells us how Sam Ashelou and the Duquesne basketball team are healing both physically and emotionally from the September incident for Sam and four of his teammates were shot. That's coming up on singular at the half. Now that's a tragic story. He's coming into focus there. Seth's on top of everything in the country. 
And Bill, that one goes down. Samari Spears at BC. He gets his second personal foul. And they don't have, they can't afford that luxury. The plane not back. Uh, one problem we mentioned the big fellow John Oates uh, with a bruised foot, so they are decimated. John Oates out with an arch problem, couldn't practice yesterday. So he's working out. Al Skinner is with a short roster as big Sasha Khan goes to the free throw line. How could a guy 6'11 never play organized basketball in his native Russia? Well, he won't. He had that growth spurt. Uh, and Bill himself noticed that. And it goes zone, and BC has struggled in a few games. Prominently uh, the PC, Providence College game in that loss. We'll see how they manage. Got to get a flasher. Yeah, BC had the early losses at home, back to back at home, not to Vermont. Then they lost to PC. Providence on the road. And here now is a fight for the ball. And Dudley has the ball. The possession arrow points to Boston College. I mentioned you need to flash. You need one with a uniform on. Somebody sprinting to the lane and begging for the ball. And you got to move it quickly and occasionally use the dribble. Stagger screen for Dudley. Got clock uh, picking down. Too much on it. They got a breakdown. Which is playing a tremendous game for the Jayhawks. Chalmers rebounds, outlet, leads Brandon Rush. And the uh, Jayhawks are up by 10. Great confidence in Rush not to get the third foul by Bill Self. Maybe part of the reason they got him on the top of the zone. Not to have too much body contact. Rush has nine. Mario Chalmers leads the way with 11 for the Jayhawks. And your point about him passing, he has been sensational, Chalmers. Good flash. Fayetteville is tough to get a good look against these guys. Yeah, they really climb. It's starting to look like a preseason number one team. Well, those guys are getting better and on cue, right? Anytime you say something nice. <laughs> but the ability to get down the floor, to leak out, it's so essential. You can just see the cheat here. You know your teammate's going to get it. Chippy hanging, they used to say in the old days. Uh, finished by Brandon in a rush. A little clock problem, too, as we come back live. 5-17 left to play in the first half. First meeting between Boston College and Kansas since the 1969 NIT when the Eagles won 78-62. Tell you, this place is amazing. It's like a museum, isn't it? Fantastic. The guys at Fog Allen, of course, uh, Dick Harp, Ted Owen, Larry Brown. How about that? Roy Williams, what runs they had. And Bill following suit. Yeah, the 88 National Championship team and They'll be celebrating the 55th anniversary in February of the 1952 team that won the NCAA and the Olympic gold medal. Well, they've got it going here, and here's defensively again. And they've got it going on and off the floor, Don. Uh, Lou Perkins, who's been at a few terrific universities, great success story. We make sure everything is done for the coaches, supplies them with uh, facilities. He knows how to pick up a check, something you could learn a little <laughs> from him. Uh, but a guy that was very instrumental in a lot of the things that happened in the Big East prior to coming out here. Well, he said, Bill, that he knew they were serious about basketball here when uh, he drove up to the arena and was on Naismith Drive. <laughs> he gave him a clue, huh? Look how deep they get this pass. The inventor of the game, James Naismith, was the first coach in Kansas back in 1898. And here is Wright. The big guy steps out. One for three prior to that. Uh, Bill Self lights up when you talk to him about that youngster. Julian Wright with a touch and feel for this game. Boston College really needs a score here. Down by 13. As Kansas with a really a tremendous performance at both ends of the floor. Dudley off target. Spears fights. Again, Chalmers comes away with the ball. Now, this zone has been a Bill Felt. He didn't want to guard that flex all game. They don't work hard on the zone. Nice little driving. This. Oh, send it in. Moving well inside. And uh, Coach Skinner's going to go to his bench, try to change the chemistry as uh, right now BC can't stay with Kansas. Nice pass here. Got to squeeze it, though. Playing rattled right now. Oh. 
a fast break drill. What a performance. Uh, they understand how to give it to one another. It's a very unselfish team. Drive it to the rim. Draw a few. Give it to your partner. A real Kanja. And now let's take a look at our in-game singular in-game analysis. How about the transition D? Uh, Non-existent. It's not getting back and uh, you know, they're not getting the offense. Uh, there are certainly the zone has been an impact, but how about the push down the floor? Rush hour all joining in solid play and Bill Self. This is as good as I've seen them this year. The last impressive. few minutes. They are impressive, these Jayhawks. And right here, watch all the maroon shirts on. Here's four guys down, one back. Rice saying, assist, please help. And look at the white shirts and the great give. A little nickel dimer at the end. Rush hour in the speed lane. Well, their captain's level, Bill, is uh, through the roof. Uh, they're playing well and just keep building. It. They're now on a 22 to 4 run since this game was tied at 16 all. And they extend that 1 2 2. Be curious to see if they go back to the zone with Rush on the floor. I think they will. Boston College having trouble getting it up court. And then they go back. Look at the size of Rush out there, Don. They can challenge a jump shot, play in front of a post guy, great length. And he's got assists on either side for the guards. Long inside, KU. And finally, uh, the BC Eagles get one to go as the ball is knocked down nicely. Al Skinner did a nice job getting the guy on the foul line. That time, Williams with a nice little turnaround, enhancing his game. Now almost a 12-point a game score, and they talk about Williams is up to scoring to double figures, and he takes away about 10 points at the other end with five blocks a game. Yeah, yeah, challenge the jumper here, causes the miss, and a little nickel dimer by Sasha Khan. His momentum just carried him into him. Eagles need to go on a run like the Jayhawks have done after the second foul on Khan. And now coming into the game is Daryl Arthur, the freshman standout who they really expect great things from. As mentioned, uh, Bill Self calling him the best power forward he's ever recruited. That's high praise. Williams has made himself a good free throw shooter up to 76% for the free season. No sooner said, and he bricks mm -hmm. one. Here come the Jayhawks of KU on their home floor. Here's that. They, they run this little play. Two guys high with the pick. One slips. One gets to the box. They got the other way. I don't know it was Arthur with the push. Now it's a hand pick double header. First, the Patriots try to clinch against the Jaguars, or the Ravens meet the Steelers, and in the nightcap. The Bengals battled the Broncos. Check local listening beginning with J.B., Dan, Shannon, and Boomer on the NFL today. Everybody's looking at the playoff picture. Here's how it looks in the American Conference, but I'll tell you, a team to be aware of is the New England Patriots because they know how to win championships. Yeah, Brady's not too bad at the helm, huh? He'd be a pretty good point guard, I think. He was a good high school basketball, a good baseball player. And right now, Jackson are rebounding. And Williams two in a row and, and as you noted having a good year that's four points that escaped them. Well, Darnell Jackson in the game for Kansas. And down to 2.15 to play and a good foul inside as Sean Marshall takes away the shot. And Jackson with a great cut. It's his second foul on Sean Marshall. Well he's been an underrated player for Beast. He 110 straight starts. 13 points a game over uh, four rebounds a game from Rialdo, California. And they've done a great job recruiting Bill Cohn out at Northeastern, Ed Cooley at Fairfield. Uh, Bonzi Colson, by the way, an assistant, not feeling well. Hopefully, Pneumonia has yeah, temporarily yeah. sidelined Bonzi, but he's bouncing back. Terrific player at Rhode Island. But they really judge talent and extraordinary. They don't just pay attention to the scouting service. They go out. Al's great at judging a guy that can play for him and raise his level of play. Talking to Al yesterday, I said, who are the most highly recruited players in your team? He said, we don't have any. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, but they win. They picked third this year in the ACC Conference. It's all about winning. And North Carolina and Duke will pick ahead of them. 
Tell you, Dudley, he's having a hard time getting his shot. That can be a hell ball. Uh, number 32, Darnell Jackson in on it. They say he tries to pattern his game after Ben Wallace, but out to do, I might add. Sharon Collins checks in for the game. Let's see now. We have another substitute. Rush is going to go out of the game, and uh, Sharon Collins comes back in. A good move, too. You save him with the two. You got some mileage out of him. Now, Bill has been down the road before. And they say, Bill, that uh, Dudley has to hit his numbers for BC to do well today. He's three of eight shooting the ball for seven points. He averages over 19 a game and about nine and a half rebounds. Now, normally, he's very good on the offensive glass against his own. He hasn't been able to do that with the size of KU. Robinson kicks it out. Chalmers. How about that combo, huh? Drive, draw. A little ecstasy on the kick. Played for his dad in Anchorage, Alaska. He is a fine-looking basketball player, Mario Chalmers. He's a sophomore. Really does a lot of things for this team. And today, the big one is score. He's got 14 points to lead everybody. And Collins with a little small change from the rear. But whatever you need, get into the gap here. And the ability to dribble the basketball, it's very important that you create motion. Get that zone to move, and then backtrack. Follow your guy. Fill so he has an alternate. And here is Williams going to the free throw line. You've seen the stars dance, but you've never seen them bust criminals until now. See what happens when real celebrities become real cops. Armed and famous, coming in January to CBS. How about that, celebrities? And you made some citizens arrest in your time. Only well, somebody we know, I'm sure. And William stayed on the line that time. You hope it's not us they picked up. <laughs> Here comes uh, the Kansas Jayhawks again. Getting uh, ready in January. They have their big uh, 12 home opener against Oklahoma State. Another good looking big 12. Yeah, team. Logan's is playing great. Nice screen. They're going to call a foul, though, on Jackson. I love that, though. The turn, you help your partner out. When you look at this game today, and Bill Self said prior to the game, they're going to force us to rely on our individual ability, which is incredibly high. So they've got guys who can make plays, and they've done it thus far, and they've gotten the transition hoops to complement it. Well, you look at the biographies of these kids. I mean, there's everybody who's some kind of an All-American. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, they don't say hello unless you've been on Parade or McDonald's, huh? Now they go for the cream, and they get it here to Lawrence, Kansas, and now they score. Yeah, but it was on the way down. It'll be a goaltender. How about the quick hop to Williams? So he got one. Why not get up and get another? The relentless pursuit. You've got to have the mentality to not permit anybody around the rim. Now watch how fast he comes into the picture now. Just terrific effort by the big fella. And that sends uh, Jackson to the free throw line. Darnell Jackson, a 6'8 junior from Oklahoma City. And they want to be sure who the foul was on, I think. A lot of action around there. I don't think it was Williams. I think it was behind. There's Bill, an assistant here years ago when Larry Brown was here. Yep. Oklahoma State grad. He and Eddie Sutton, great pals. 23 is the call. Marshall, they give it to him. Bill Self was the head coach, first at Oral Roberts, then Tulsa, and then Illinois, and now on to Kansas, where he's in his fourth season as the head man. He's a, played at Oklahoma State back in 85 his last year. Second hand is double zero. Well, birthday coming up. Tuesday. You said you wouldn't mention it. No. He wants to, he wants to hold on 36, he said. And I'm not sensitive about age. You know, when I get to 40, I'll let you know. Yeah. It's a ways away, so we won't hop on the down <laughs> one foot waiting for that <laughs> occasion. Here now come the BC Eagles and needing baskets. Uh, they need a score and a stop just to give them a little bit of a boost. This is not the only team that's going to have trouble with the Jayhawks. These guys are loaded. There, and they got size two. That pass should not have gotten in there by Rice. They got away with it, but then the counter on the collapse by KU. And that is going to do it as Kansas gets a well-earned standing ovation from the 17,000 at Allen Fieldhouse. Playing for the last shot. Right dishes. Garrett Dudley comes up with the ball, leads to right. He's got to shoot. He does. 
but it doesn't go. That's the end of the first half of the score. Kansas 45, Boston College 23. Now let's go to Sam Ryan in New York for singular at the half. Sam. EBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Lipitor, Bodman, Hot Sexy Fragrance Body Sprays for Men, and by Powered by Pontiac, the official performance machines of the NCAA. And welcome back to the University of Kansas as we take a look at our Selson Blue halftime stats. Uh, Bill Raftery points off turnovers uh, impressive. Unbelievable. Uh, you know, you've got to value the basketball against this KU team. You want to control their speed, and, and yet those opportunities they took advantage of. Well, uh, Kansas closed the first half with a 27 to 9 run to take this 22 point lead. How do you come back from that? You may have said they did it in a rush, as Brandon in the open floor was sensational. I think they have to get back to basics to answer, you know, BC. Uh, Brandon, a kid that can spread out the drive, draw, kick out of those opportunities. But how about this? Blow by. Get themselves to the rim. A real understanding of when to leak out, how to get that opportunity basket. And the transition game for KU has been absolutely extraordinary. Leak outs. Too many dark shirts staying under the rim and not getting out. This is the one where we counted four. Nobody responding but Rice. And say goodnight if that continues. Right now, you got to be sound if you're BC. Start controlling the game on offense. Don't give leak outs and be solid on the defensive end. Well, the Eagles start the second half with the ball. As we look at the uh, first 10 minutes, the score tied 16 all. Last 10 minutes, that 29 to 7 run. That's the Jayhawks. Out the same way. Pam Williams, I believe, uh, just not themselves. And when you're not yourself, you hope a Jared Dudley can step up. Is that three on the big fellow? And right now, it looks like uh, maybe the Jayhawks will try to take a little uh, time off the clock, move the ball around, get deeper into the shot clock mm -hmm. with a commanding lead in this interconference game. Big 12 against the ACC. Well, they do a nice job from the rear. This is Marshall at that. I believe that's number four. Number yeah, that is. He's got two in ten seconds. And he's really oh, no, excuse me. That was. Uh, that is Marshall. And the other was he Williams. Does have four. Yeah, Williams got his third. But he's never gotten on track. One for three. They're 0 for nine from three, and you counter five from nine for KU. Uh, that is uh, very difficult. Well, Rush goes to the free throw line, where he has uh, not been stellar so far this year, 59 percent. But he's building his numbers of. High school All-American from Kansas City, Missouri. He went to Mount Zion Academy in North Carolina. His brothers were terrific players. And another foul call stops play. Three on Spears, I believe. Well, Skinner's going to be. Uh, wow. He's going to have to suit up. The team manager's going to be out there. Uh, that's what size will do, too. Uh, Spears, one of those undersized power forwards. He's almost got a Charles Barkley-like basketball game. His comments aren't quite as quite net, I'm sure. Dayaville with uh, 20, 33 seconds gone in the second half. Already three team fouls against the Boston College. And then you just saw right. I mean, just a, that game against Florida, I think they started to find themselves. Uh, not the last week or so, the kind of basketball they play, but Bill thinks he's starting to see some signs. There's a little flex cut. This controls the clock a little. You got to get your legs. Creep back in slowly. And here's the nice entry to Dudley. And That's a chance, nice. chance for three. Marshall with a great look from the top. So they uh, obviously talked about that at halftime. How do we get the ball better down low to Dudley? At 6'7, 225. He can score inside or out. Now see how well they work. Goes back to the Tom Davis days, Gary Williams, of getting the ball inside with different looks. Uh, you know, they'll do a bowling pass, a wraparound pass. That's a great look with the hold up by Dudley. Terrific. Dudley with the free throw now has 10 points for the day and cuts the lead to 21. It really hasn't been the, it's the zone that's been giving BC more problems. We may see that if they creep back in. Got to squeeze it by Khan. Nice look. Oh. Nice look, but no finish, and here come the Eagles. Uh, Julian was uprighted. Here he goes, three on one. Big guy leaves the break. Gave it up too early, should have kept it. Unselfish, uh, 
Open man gets the ball in this Kansas offense, and now the uh, bat's a little short. Bring him down to rebound, and here's Sean Marshall. He can't get it down. Well, he's hurt. One. Well, Timmy Brando has a statement, right? Iron on time. You've heard him say that? I have. Uh, uh, this is uh, typical. It would fit right here, Timmy B. It's tough. It's a six defender if you don't attack it right. You go up too early, and who's there on the spot? Jared trying to fill it up, get them back in it. Well, they're getting him the ball now, so he's uh, getting back in the offense a lot more, Jared Dudley. The senior from San Diego, California. You look at his, uh, how he's built his numbers this year. Well, he's really stepped up, hasn't he? And he's a guy, his mom was saying to him in the spring and summer, you better take any scholarship. You're not going to get a Division I offer. And he persisted, went to some camps. He was seen. And then he actually recruited the BC coaches by showing up on campus, knowing that they had a paucity of talent up front, not much size. And the rest, as they say, is legendary. Yeah, he really uh, had a work, and he only got scholarship offers from Freight Train. Mm -hmm. I think San Diego's in addition to BC. Nice. All for the Eagles. And now, a great back door lock. And you know, Khan did a great job locking up Williams to permit that entry. That is great deployment. Russell Robinson with his first points of the day. And again, a 21 point Jayhawk lead. When you're in that zone, you expect somebody in the back to help you, but Khan occupied Williams. Khan doing a great job on the ducking on Williams. He hasn't been able to get a touch. They're, uh, they're occupying. Oh, no, no, there's a foul on Khan. Now, we mentioned oh, Sasha. Well, I think he's playing really yeah, solid I'm basketball Khan. on both ends of the floor. This step and go here is, ex is a pretty good play, but you watch the center keep his guy active. And that sets it up. The duck in sets it up. And there's the back cut. So nobody there. Nobody in the back to negate. Just terrific understanding of where to be and what play to call. And Conville with three personals goes out. And the freshman Daryl Arthur comes in. And now again, the other will be dangerous to the ball. And here is, yeah, wow, you got people playing in the rafters here. And right with the foul or no? They get one earlier. Well, some people that can elevate. They, they can get up. There's no trampoline in there, folks. That's all individual ability. Oh, God, did you short me when it came to hops? But not these guys. And right here, he doesn't give up on it, Williams. That's just a great effort. They may have gotten the foul on that one, if I'm not sure. The next one is Arthur came in. One of our uh, CBS cameramen, Skip Shackelford, taking one for the team. Our producer today, Ross Schneiderman. Director is Chris Benson. The executive producer of CBS Sports, Tony Petiti. We're coming to you from Allen Fieldhouse, the historic home of Jayhawk basketball. Named after Fog Allen, who's coached the Jayhawks for 39 years. Whew. I did not coach against them, by the way. But you, probably, you played against them. Uh, we dined together. Uh, you may have worked courtside, though. I know you, you dined together. The, well, the greatest uh, after dinner speech goes four words I'll take the check. I haven't heard you <laughs> make that speech yet. And now driving to the basket and laying it in is Mario Chalmers, who's been terrific all day. Well, they are really struggling getting back. Uh, just making mistakes in vulnerable parts of the floor, leading to the open floor soiree. And now the uh, Jayhawks have extended to their biggest lead as Chalmers is leading the way in scoring today with 16 points. And a nice play as Dudley took it to the rim, and then Williams cleaned it up. You can see Dudley's heart on that play. In and out, rebound. Score the goal. How about that one? And Williams actually got his hand up through the net. He did. Last I heard, that was illegal. But that's what Rush can do. You think of him as a, a guy that faces, I think this is illegal. I don't know, maybe in your schoolyard you got away with this. But the officials, could get up that high. <laughs> the officials are too good. But you think of Rush as a perimeter guy, you forget how he can rebound. I mean, he gets over six rebounds a game. And on the offensive glass, he can really be a factor. He is a terrific all-around player. Tremendous skills. Well, a lot of people had him right as maybe the number one high school player coming out the year he did. And a lot of people wanted him. Here's the reach, and not a good one by Chalmers. 
Tough to be patient out there when you've got the crisp hands that can attack for steals over two a game. The story of the turnovers has been enormous in the first half. Kansas forcing 13 BC turnovers that led to 23 Jayhawk points. Meanwhile, the, uh, the Eagles got no points off Kansas turnovers, of this force nine. And here now a low shot by Williams. He'll go back up. And there's going to be a foul call. Is this on Williams again? Now they're going to make this upset. He didn't make the shot. Yeah, he did a nice job. Uh, got himself nice and deep. The left hand, you can see, he's expanded that game. But unfortunately, it doesn't go. He gets fouled on the floor. Mm. Oh, personal. Yeah, they've been concerned about his foul. They get him. He averages over three fouls a game. You figure some of those games are runouts early in the year. He was a great high school player at uh, Texas, Dallas, uh, Texas, South Oak Cliff High. Led them to two state championships to Daryl Arthur. Now another whistle stops play. Yeah, Russell Robinson with the check out underneath. Big 12 all defensive team. Kid out of Rice High School in New York City. Himself says he uh, creates pace. He speeds up our game, Russell Robinson. Right now he's going to speed his way to the bench. And, uh, back in the game now is Sharon Collins. You know, they could be very good, Don. They are not there yet, this team. You know, oh, bits man. and pieces you can see. Okay, yeah, they are deep in talent, and they uh, they go to the bench. They don't lose a thing. What a nice look by Dudley. Well, the you've heard of Chomper's music. Absolutely. In this case, it's sweet in the ears of the King and fans. Coming up next, Greg Oden leads the Buckeyes of Ohio State against Joakim Noah and the defending national champion Florida Gators. Here on CBS Sports, the home of the men's NCAA basketball championship. Early season headline, Phil. Uh, of course, Dean, uh, one behind, very humble, outstanding coach at North Carolina, and Bob Knight on the threshold of surpassing. How about Greg Oden, the way he's played in East Wichita State? Kusnar did not play last night in that loss that they had. A.J. Graves playing great for Butler. Jeff Vizdelic does a great job at Air Force. And Nick Vesikas. And how about the Zags in the top 20? Yeah. And those upsets. Roberts of Kansas. Vermont over B.C. And Florida State over Florida. You better come prepared this year. No one knows. And, of course, from Odin to Chamberlain. The age of the big people. Well, Chamberlain here was one season was at Kansas in 58. And then he went to the Globetrotters. Well, you saw Bill uh, Odin in high school and knew right away, I guess. Well, you, it, you know, it's, I was never known for my ability to analyze talent, but I had an idea he could be pretty good. Just well, extraordinary uh, defender. You know, all the things that you would expect from a guy with that size and mobility, but he can play offense, too. I think your acumen is considerable. <laughs> well, thank you. You talked about a paucity of something earlier. Oh, all right. That was impressive. Uh -huh. A little side pick and roll here. Pop by Jackson. They're going straight man here. Let's see. This guy can go to the hoop. Man, what an elevation on that jump shot. Dudley rebounds. Here come the Eagles. One thing they have to guard against is taking Aaron shots. And so. passes like that, right? Williams is not a playmaker. Oh, Sharon Collins. He looks like a top defensive back a powerful guard you know he looks like Joe Morris the old giant doesn't he, he does. it's tough and quick rain tech in Chicago they've turned out a lot of terrific players a little zone again and they struggle against this Dudley doesn't get as many touches now against the zone he hides well and Marshall not in the game another guy that hides well on the baseline Good kick Oh, three. Come on, Curtis. 56-31. I thought he only made big calls. Three-second violation. <laughs> uh, I think he, he just wanted to change a venue. He wanted to go to the other end. And I tell you, Bill, this is uh, Bill. D.C. still has more turnovers, 16, and made field goals, 11. <laughs> You're never going to win with those kind of combination numbers. No, not at all. And right now, not a good catch on that particular play. 
Take uh, CBS Sportsline with you wherever you go on your internet-enabled phone. Access breaking news and in-depth stats. Get expert video, live scoreboards, and even manage your fantasy team. Click on mobile at cbssportsline.com. Right now, Boston College trying to fight their way back after uh, Kansas went on a 27-9 run to close out the first half and take a 22-point lead. Uh, Jackson with the body. Knocks him out of bounds. There wasn't any room. Very fortunate to get to the line. And uh, just one of those the referee has to call because it's going to be a turnover. Boy, he's close to the out of bounds line as well, but the bump may have caused it. Bill Sub, as he was telling us yesterday, uh, how's your team right now? What's your overview? He said, well, we're getting there. Well, they got there today. Mm -hmm. They sure did. And this zone now, Don, has slowed BC down, so it's going to be harder to get quick hitters. Uh, this guy will keep playing, though. Well, they are. You know, you come into a ball game like today, and you find out that John Oates, your starting center, your five man, is not playing. That really throws coaches off and players off. Al Skinner then starts scrambling, goes to his guys. What should we do? Who can we turn to? Back to set. Oh, Casera. Which way do we go? And it's unsettling. Yeah, it is. It's uh, this Kansas uh, team speed is unsettling. Mm -hmm. Well, they're on the ball. Heartbeat. And no McLean either, uh, as a matter of fact, you know? Yeah. Tried to start him, turn the ankle. Peter McLean, injured in the first half, has not been back. A 6 a junior. Yeah, he's he's a shot of him. He's got first game back after some personal issues with the coaching staff. And then Spears gets another one on that particular reach in. I think that's number four. It is indeed. Get the bus driver at the uniform. Right now, Kansas is penetrating. Put back. Jackson. The big uh, Darnell Jackson gets some. And the beat goes on, and the Jayhawks build their lead now. It's 58 35 after hit at the other end by BC. I would ride Williams, Don. Just get him in the game, get him some offense. You got to get something for the rest of the season. A pretty good job there. He has enhanced his game. He's certainly got ability. He's a tremendous rejector coming in with 38 blocks at uh, five in the first half. Mm -hmm. And that rebound, that long rebound piece, he's got to get that one. They need all the little things right now. Too good a team. Hey, Kansas offensive end, everybody's in the game. They all get the ball. Now look at Williams right to the right. Oh, steps here. Dudley trying to do too much. Well, you mentioned the ability to block shots. He is always there. Shall we gather at the river? And he understands <laughs> what to do. And this is the offensive end ever expanding. Both hands with the hook. That time with the turnaround. Big upside in that game. 5.4 blocks a game. And he is a junior from Houston, Texas. Sean Williams of Boston College. Player now in for BC. And Bill Self ran a double screen like it was against man to man, which a lot of teams will do against this combination defense. They're not getting any three point looks, and they need that uh, three pointer to start to get back in this. And nothing there. Where? Now there's one. No not sooner a, said. Not a bad play. Blair kicked it out. Didn't make any mistake. And they uh, have some very un. Uh, Settling fans here. Very <laughs> unlikely. 20. Three like uh, three point numbers. One for 12, my goodness. But even the fans, I was down to 20, they're getting nervous. Keep kicking out. One for 12 on threes. Don't take the nice pass. Look how the ball, the dribbling ability, the concentration defensively just shakes everybody and then the fine. Darnell Jackson, uh, big inside presence. They've got size, they've got backcourt speed. Really, the whole team can run, Kansas. Now they lost two games. Nice, nice job. Didn't finish, but they stay right here. I think Williams might get to the line. Getting a feel against the combo. Draw a couple of guys, and then the big guy gets that open hole, knocks it down. Some solid play by Kansas.
Tomorrow on 60 Minutes, the story of a woman who tries to swim to Antarctica. But can she make it? That's tomorrow on 60 Minutes. Sounds like a good way, Bill, after a late night to <laughs> get your engine started. Get a little tingle in your toe. <laughs> and right now, uh, you know, BC looking for a little tingle. Uh, they have really been struggling. And, and now it's all about getting organized, being solid, and gaining something as you look forward. You know, maybe you get back in the game, certain things break your way, but also a certain amount of dignity and pride in this program that Al Skinner has instilled. Well, he's been terrific in his 10th year, was an outstanding player at UMass. In fact, they have retired his number. As a teammate of Julius Irving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good doctor. Well, he had a nice pro career in the ABA. Later with the Sixers at Luke Detroit as well. Very understated, humble guy. Williams. Coach. Yeah, he's uh, he's got a terrific record. It was at Rhode Island, as you mentioned. His assistants, uh, Pat Duquette, Mo Cassara, and Bonzi Colson. Bill Self's assistant, Tom Jankovic, Joe Dooley, who's from the town you sure. made famous, West Orange, New Jersey. Now, speaking of jumping, Joe Dooley could jump. Or the assistant town. coach. He could. He was coaching the defense yesterday at their practice and apparently very well. 60 to 39. Uh, you man, there's Joe. Of course, uh, you know, at the Meadowlands, at a net game, he competed in a dunking contest with a number of luminaries and one is that right yeah so I mean he could really elevate and Curtis you mentioned got to know him a little bit at Cal a Western Kentucky grad Curtis Townsend and uh, also Danny Manning has mentioned the guy who led uh, the Jayhawks to that 1988 national championship and was college player of the year and he now has a home here in Lawrence. They say it's a uh, home of homes. The Taj Mahal. He's, he's probably got more money than in the bank than any manager we know. To say the least. The Taj Manning. Oh, or announcer, maybe. <laughs> well, he had a 15-year NBA career. So. And so his dad, Ed. Of course, his dad was an assistant here at Kansas uh, years ago under Larry Brown. And there's Danny. You saw him work out a little bit. He's still yeah. got some game, he doesn't he? definitely has some game. Doesn't have quite the speed of what he had, but he schools these big guys. He's been very valuable. He's actually taken some graduate courses here at Kansas. Well, we all aren't blessed keeping our speed like you have. All right. Jump back slowly as Spears steps out, knocks it down. It's Robinson. Guards good with the ball. Well, he take it away from him. And, you know, just a little bit lazy as Rice could have gotten in front and stolen that basketball. He should have been right over there in front. Number four, Tyrese Rice. And the Jayhawks of Bill Self go back to the free throw line. Darnell Jackson is at it. Getting a lot of playing time today. Self going deep into his bench with his big lead. 62 to 41. There's Bill Self. He talks about repetition, Bill. He says, uh, Repetition breeds confidence, and you get repetition in practice. Mm -hmm. and Tim Jackovic alongside of him as well. Played at K-State. You know, but Bill thinks this, oh, look at this play here. Now, that's really sort of typifies, you know, when things go bad, even for good teams, it just steams, steam rolls. And things have gone bad for a long time in this game for the Eagles. They came in with a 7-2 and two record. And we're on a six-game winning streak. Oh, pretty good luck. Sasha, get the catcher's mid out. I know it had a little heat on it. The Ryan Dorn special. You get the feeling looking at this Sasha Khan that he's going to get better and better. I mean, he seems to have good he can run the floor. Yeah, he's a solid player. You're right. And you mentioned he started late in life. Uh, there's a big upside. Guys that size take a little longer. It's not a maturity thing. It's just a confidence thing. And strength, athleticism comes into play. Darnell Jackson just was called for his fourth personal foul. And out he comes, and back in comes the freshman, Daryl Arthur. At the free throw line, number four, Tyrese Rice. Two shots. And they need Rice to have big games, too. He gets five assists, 14 points, makes the threes the on occasion part about 30 percent. A lot of their integral parts are not in tune this afternoon. Now it's been uh, there's the pressure. 
knocking the ball away, getting turnovers, and then scoring off turnovers is really key this tremendous performance by the Jayhawks. Now, a little spurt now. If they can turn them over, they must get the loose change now. Anything, errant pass, missed shot, long rebound. Straight up man now. No gimmick. Oh, step all the way over there, big fella. Take it on. Blocking foul on Blair. Russell Robinson at the free throw line with two shots. And here is Russell Robinson, the junior, at the free throw line. Now they're at that point where they're losing a little step, don't you think? Yeah, I think with that big lead, they kind of lost their gusto. Yeah. They're not playing as fast as they were. And again, a 21-point lead. Jayhawks led by 22 at the half. And Don, this is, uh, you're right. Bill Self now is just extend the floor to get a little juice in his team. And Rice has taken it to the rim. And a chance for two is you take a look here down that nine and two. I watched the USC game the other day on tape two. A very good basketball team. Oral Roberts at the Paul. Jerry Wainwright won a terrific win. They have been struggling early. Ten or more points. They sort of run away from it. Okay, and hide. The Paul, yeah. He's not a real emotional guy out there. Is that uh, Jerry? Yeah. Great win. He's very dry win. <laughs> He can coach, though. Oh, he's what is he, Richmond, I guess. Yeah, Richmond. And of course, long time down south at Wake. Oh. Will you and see Wilmington as well? Right now, Kansas coming up the floor, and there is Rush. Kansas fans are onto everything. They thought they saw contact, and now a whistle blows. There's that high double screen that they like to run. Now Skinner uh, being notified that there's a foul out here. Shamari Spears might have kept the call of the day. The freshman yeah. from Salisbury, North Carolina. Uh, never got on track. Part of the atmosphere of college basketball is adjusting your mentality and playing relaxed, and that'll come. He's a very talented youngster. Dudley Bill has been quietly building his numbers. He has 14 points and eight rebounds, but they need a lot more than that. They got to get other people stepping up and getting points. And he stuffs the sheet as Special K is want to say. He does every item he contributes for his team. Chalmers and Rush have combined for 31 points for the Jayhawks. Chalmers with 16, Rush with 15. Here you go, Bill, with the BC. Yeah, so Michigan State, we were up there. Of course, the Merlin game, a great win. Their first one in the conference. Vermont, you know, there's the team, plays with confidence. And Timmy Walsh's team is having a solid beginning of the year. BC had something like 15 blocks of Providence and lost. It's like, well, 12 by here. Williams alone, right? Yeah. Here's a long ball. Oh, Errant. Marquez Haynes. With 15 people up from Texas to watch him today. He's from Irving, Texas. But he missed it all on that one. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Arizona, and I saw Marcus Haynes. You remember that? Huh? You, you did see him. He, he was fantastic. The Globetrotter ball handler. Yeah. How's he doing? He's great. Hey. Marcus Haynes. Yeah. Now a driving oh, shot by Rice. Now he blew by some quick people. Whoa. Did he get a little petrol into the machine there? That was a good breakaway. Eight points now for Rice. But on the board, the Jayhawks still have a commanding 18-point lead with 8.54 to play. Don Crickey with Bill Raftery back at the home of the Jayhawks. Allen Fieldhouse, Lawrence, Kansas. As you see the game summary, and it's a... Uh, Commanding uh, tour to fourth performance by the Jayhawks, who uh, after the game was tied 16 all, went on a 27 to 9 run to close out the first half, and they haven't looked back. Points off of turnovers, devastating, and right now extending the floor. Al Skinner's guys trying to stimulate a little energy, maybe a quick hit or a turnover. There's always hope at 18. Still a lot of time left, 8:40 to mm -hmm. play. 
There's that high low that they were developing. When they uh, look like they're going to turn it over, they get it back. Nice hands here. Get it back again. They don't want to foul now. He sees defending, but pretty low. Dudley thought he had all ball. He may have been right. A lot of times, guys anticipate the leather being whacked. Well, BC had a great defensive trip. And this one is at the end. And boy, that looked pretty clean, didn't it? Yeah. Because when it's gone bad, you don't get much help. Hey, not many guys handle themselves better than Dudley on the court, though. A little while ago, he had a foul call. He told the official good call. Yeah. That, down this end, the yeah. walk, was it? Yeah. Travel, yeah. They don't have too many fouls to give this team. Arthur. Darryl Arthur, the man who goes by the nickname Shady, Slim Shady. In my neighborhood, that's not good. <laughs> we had some shady guys. This is an M&M. &M. <laughs> you know who M&M &M is? No. The rapper. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, yes. E-M-I-M-E-M. -E -M. Okay. I thought you meant the candy. <laughs> With or without. Here now is uh, Dudley. And... Keep trying shots that uh, now you got the sure thing. John Williams slams it. And Don, they need another trip defensively like the last one. And counter that, KU, be patient. Get something around the box. Here's a little cross screen, and this is the high low. Now look how they load up. And good job defensively by Williams underneath. And Williams built with some nice numbers 13 points, 12 rebounds, 6 blocks. Mm -hmm. And the Eagles have worked their way back down by 18. They're getting too many second chances here, though. Nice job by Arthur, and then the kick out. Tell you what, right now they're not making shots. That energy level has gone down. Nice give back. There's a guy with some hops, Marquez Haynes. Oh, they need something like that to go, and it finally does off the hand of Tyrese Rice. You know, all of a sudden, yeah. And you know, I've got to hand this down, Skinner. Though his subdued, relaxed mannerisms. He just doesn't get after them, and they play confidently, even when they're hurting. Tough shot, huh? That's good. Uh, he's been quiet for a while, but now he's up to 18 points for the game. I mean, it's a basketball festival, isn't it, when these Jayhawks play at home? Oh, it's a beautiful atmosphere. Fantastic. It's a museum when you think of it. This pass is not a good one. Lucky to get it back. Oh, you got to call that. I thought Dudley, my goodness, he initiated the contact. Nothing. <laughs> to hurt. Look at the rebound again. They go the other way. Over the back. Well, Al's not a happy guy. And he's got a little life left. The, the ability to elevate in traffic. Do some damage. Oh, how sweet this is. Send it in, big fella. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by the U.S. Department of Transportation. By Singular, Raising the Bar. And by Coca-Cola, devoted to refreshing fans of NCAA basketball. As we return to Allen Fieldhouse, University of Kansas, and all the basketball history that's evident here with these banners. Chamberlain played here, led them to a Final Four. 50 years ago, right? Yeah, North Carolina beat him. What was a triple overtime? Yeah. Tommy Kearns, jump center. Bobby Cunningham, he's running. And uh, in 52, Dean Smith was on the team, yeah. believe it or not. How about that? And he's coming back in February when they honor the 52 Kansas team that won the NCAA title and went on to win the gold medal at the Olympics. They sent the college champions, Clyde Lavellet, yeah. a key uh, performer. I think later a sheriff beat Santa Clara and St. John's in 52. But Dean was on that team. Clyde Lavelle at, uh, what, 6'11", 280. I think he could keep some law and order. Yeah, I, just up by his size. Average over 28 points a game, too. So Clyde could fill it up. And right now, BC feeling pretty good. Marshall back on the floor. One of those guys that can light it up from the jumping three-point shooting area. Hey, Bill, that's uh, quietly become a 15-point game. Was a 25-point Kansas game. Chalmers with a good move to the basket. And you know, every time it looks like KU's losing it, you had him with a pull-up jumper, Chalmers, and that time the drive and no coordination defensively. Nobody 
paying attention to business. He can really play this sophomore Mario Chalmers, 6'1 guard from Anchorage, Alaska, son of a coach, so you know he's good fundamentally. And the rebound comes down. It's taken by Daryl Arthur. And pass forward to Chalmers. Stan Ronnie, of course, on the bench over there, director of basketball operations. And look at this. And everybody is attracted to the bounce. And then the cleanup. That could have been a dagger, Don. Yeah, that was tough. Right with 11 points and 11 rebounds. Getting their legs a little bit now. Yeah. This? I mean, he was in stepping up his offensive thrust. Williams known as a shot blocker and defender. Another one of those recruits that uh, you know, they recognize some talent and improve their game at BC. Well, they needed him to step up as a scorer. Of course, uh, losing to graduation Craig Smith, who was a 2,000 point score for the Eagles. A terrific rebounder, great passer. The college bowl season on CBS starts Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And the Beavers of Oregon State take on the Missouri Tigers in the Brute Sun Bowl. And on New Year's Day, it's West Virginia against Georgia Tech in the Toyota Gator Bowl. Robinson at the line. Russell Robinson, the junior from New York City. 68% free throw shooter. That's good when your uh, guards were going to handle it. Robinson and Chalmers can shoot that high. Chalmers at 80. So late in the game, that becomes very important. You know, you have to like Bill about this Kansas team. Uh, Self uses a lot of different combinations of players, and they're all effective. Well, you mentioned at the beginning of the game, they started small with Rush as the small forward. And I think what won the game, they went big, three along the front line, and filling it up from deep. A guy who's more than adequate. Sean Marshall. Sean Marshall hits the long ball. And again, it's a 15 point game. Kansas in the lead with four and a half to go. Good poise. You get into traffic, make a good decision. Same play, screen, and then slip. Tough shot. Steps are picked by Arthur. Offense. Marshall came out and challenged him, forced him to take an extra step, turns the ball over. And still uh, a lot of time left. I think they gave that one to Arthur. He, he walked also. Yeah. Arthur gets his fourth, so he goes out. And back in comes another guy with four. Well, that little down screen, they don't want you to move on. Arnell Jackson comes back in for him. Maurice Rice. Not a lot of open looks. A hard drive and a good look inside. Martinez Haynes. Good square up and a little kiss at the end. 13 and knocking at the door. This becomes a big trip. Get the bigs to do some damage. Well, not a good giveaway by Rice. You said it, Bill Raftery, that they kind of lost their speed and their gusto with the big lead. Now we've got a ball game. A reset of how this one has gone. You see Boston College there with uh, four timeouts remaining. Both teams way over the limit and fouls. Both shooting two the rest of the way at the half. Kansas led by 22. Big, uh, build a lead of 26. And the big guys, uh, no subs. Oates out, couldn't start. They found out this morning. Akita McLean first game back, and uh, an ankle rolled over early in the game. And Very early, yeah. It just sort of took the starch out of BC, but I thought Kansas was terrific early. Now they got to regain some poise, knocking down some free throws. Robinson, uh, one way BC's gotten back in it. They have just one turnover in the last 10 minutes. Kansas crowd goes. Uh, silence is deafening when one of the Jayhawks ready to shoot a free throw. And uh, he knocks down a pair. And the Jayhawks up to a 76 61 lead. Kick it. Dudley, not quite enough there. Look at this. Williams go up. He can really soar, can he? Oh, nosebleed territory. He's 6'10, but I think he's got a wingspan. He's got to be over seven I feet. Mean, he possibly can touch the rim. That is a very good trick. Not leave the floor and touch the rim. Here now a drive, and Williams takes it in and gets it down. And he will shoot a free throw. And you can just see the juice right now is out of Kansas defensive attack mode. 
a little more standoffish and the ability to get it into the lane has been there all game but now taking advantage of it with a good look the turning of the corner collapsing the D set it up and then the ability to hang Bill Self uh, he's noticing this comeback uh, he's up uh, shouting out instructions coaching hard now with his team up by 13 and 336 to play they got a lane violation I thought they may have had Dudley with a shot <laughs> you do get itchy though uh, you have full control of the game you're trying to recapture a little emotion basically inbounds to Robinson Kansas with the ball Bayhawks winners of eight of their last nine after a couple of early season losses losing to Oral Roberts and DePaul to get to a, a nine and two record at this point nice play what a, a much better trip much better trip used a lot of time got a great look initially for Wright sensational slip pass Robinson eight points now now the crowd gets back into it with under three minutes to go Marquez Haynes doesn't have a three-point try did you see Williams up again uh -oh. it was just a space removed couldn't quite reach it a lot of pick ball screens turn the corner be creative They've not screened across much. Nice intercept. Taking it, it hard is Marquez Haynes, and he is foul. Will shoot two. Just let him go, right? Uh, the all game long, Williams has blocked one, but they haven't been able to come up with it quickly. And just solid play. Robinson alert after a terrific pass. on Robinson he now has four as Haynes at the free throw line he came in shooting a thousand percent at the line but he was only two for two yeah it's just a little bit of an advantage now for the season he's shooting 50 percent and you can tell he's a shooter you know he's not a guy that's gonna he should put it on the floor a little bit more 220 to play Kansas with the lead by 15 on their home floor empty side here so you got an option now Kansas uh, working the game clock getting it down close to two minutes to play Chalmers has been terrific and rejected ball back inbounds to the Jayhawks now BC's done a nice job on that particular turn of the corner rush makes himself available he really understands nice cut to the 10 there's three seconds on the shot clock the lob and pretty good day they got timeout before the inbounds <laughs> he makes it negated but it was 159 to go here we are back at the how I met your mother Monday three episodes starting at eight Seven Central Time on Christmas night. CBS has the gift that will keep you laughing all night. Three hilarious episodes of How I Met Your Mother. Celebrate the holiday on CBS Merry Monday. And yeah, we've both been fortunate in our case. No complaints. But right now, KU has no complaints either. Well, KU is uh, an impressive basketball team, deep in talent, well coached together. Boston College, not as deep in talent, equally well coached. See, see now that's you should have let it go. I know it's a shot clock uh, violation, but if they have the ball prior, let them go. Now they got a, a, set, a set defense. How about that? Mario Chalmers. Yeah. Oh, he is an impressive back line player. And how about the way he just put his body at the defender just to ward off? Uh, they've been very, very good early. And modest the beginning of the second half, but enough to turn it on at the key times. And Chalmersville now with uh, 22 points, 9 of 16 shooting, and there's the long ball. Now he can stick him, can he? Hayes. Marquez Hayes. He has 11. Map score is uh, Williams. He has 19 for Boston College. And 
Now Skinner's guy really showed a lot of dignity and poise, I think. And they could have been blown out of here. Yeah, they're 14 point game. I think you walk out with your head up, you know. This is leading BC 80 66. Those of you expecting to see Ohio State and Florida, we're going to get you out to Gainesville for that game. We're going to keep you up to date on the score in Lawrence. Greg Gumbel and Billy Packer are standing by with a call right after this word from your local station.